Hello, SoFlo Radio, The Rick Shaw Show. Yeah, hey, George. Hey, how are hey, you? It's, a, it's Alan from She Hi, Web Radio. Alan, uh, I guess you heard us talking about hey, it. Hey, Alan. I was prompted to call, but I, it took a long time to get through. The line's been busy. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but Rick. Yes, welcome sir. To inter- welcome to Internet Radio. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Pleasure. Jeez, I just want to say to all the folks listening in real radio, Internet Radio has arrived. Rick Shaw's ringing it in. <laughs> Here we go again. That's Rick, right. I know you don't remember me, but we go way back to like, uh, you know, like most of South Florida. So mm-hmm. probably I was about 11 years old. Mm-hmm. I was lucky. I got into radio very early in my life. And uh, I think I met you for the first time with Todd Chase. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, afternoon I guy. think at his house one time uh, at a party, and uh, I was so young, and you would look at me and say, get away from me, kid. <laughs> and I think I followed you everywhere. You're doing that day. right now. <laughs> you and Roby, I, I don't think I left you alone for years. Oh, the big kahuna, yeah. Roby Young! Yeah. Luckily, um, I, got, I got to work at a few stations here in South Florida. Actually, I got to work at WFUN in the last few years before it died. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that was a, a highlight of my radio days. Um, and, I, and I think you have to, to say, I mean, we did give you a good run for the money. Oh, yeah. No question about it. I mean, you were, you were in a battle with one hand tied behind your back, technically. And, you know, if you couldn't be heard in Broward County at night, that was a bummer. And that was the problem that you guys had. I think they've since rectified that to some degree, uh, changing the, uh, the pattern of their signal. You can hear FUN pretty good at night uh, now at 790, the ticket. But uh, absolutely, back it's in those days, you couldn't. It was just, it was just a big. We and, and and we made, we talked about it on the radio. Hey, you can't hear them. Sun's down. It's us. Turn it up loud. Rock and roll. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we had the signal would die around the big curve. That's right. Know, by the Broward line. That's right. And uh, that part of it was sad, but uh, you know, for for the signal that it had, mm-hmm. you did a hell of a job. You did a hell of a job. We're a couple rating periods, from what I understand from uh, the my godfather's a radio at Fun, mm-hmm. that uh, that actually Fun did come out number one uh, a couple I, times. I, I think there. that is true, and I'll tell you a little behind the scenes story of of how they responded to that. One of one of the incidents involved a Beatle trip to Jacksonville when the Beatles did their first American tour in 1964. Uh, we were hoping, of course, that they would have Miami on it, but the, that was not to be. The closest they came to Miami was Jacksonville. So FUN charters a constellation. A, a constellation is an old, in this case, Eastern Airlines four-engine prop plane to fly 84, I think it was, people to the concert. They were giving away tickets on the air and seats on the airplane, and the jocks would go along as chaperones. Well, our general manager heard their promo saying, we're the only station in South Florida taking you to go see the Beatles in Jacksonville. He hired, chartered, a National Airlines DC-8 to take 120 kids to Jacksonville. We got there first. We got back first. And it was all over the radio leading up to the event. I mean, you want to go to Jacksonville? You want to go first class? Or you want to go on an old constellation? It's your call. <laughs> and it was that no, kind of a battle. Today. I mean, it was. It was war. It was literally. One guy, his name was Dorsey Harrell. He was in our promotions department. He got arrested in South Miami by police who caught him going through FUN's garbage cans looking for <laughs> copies of memos. That's the truth. Yeah. 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 I mean, but that's the way it was back then. Uh, I have a friend of mine that has a couple of the records uh, from the QAM collection when QAM died around 1980 mm-hmm. or went uh, to its, uh, so I guess, country at the time. Yeah. Um, and one of the records I really cherish, I, I, I got to uh, actually uh, keep. And it's the re- the copy of Fun, Fun, Fun by the Beach Boys. <laughs> yeah, and it yeah. says right on the label, do not mention this title. Yeah, right. Exactly. Well, well you couldn't. I mean, they, what a perfect thing for them because their call letters are WFUN. And here comes one of the hottest groups in the rock and roll world, Beach Boys, with a song called FUN, FUN, FUN. How bad could it be? So you, we played the other side. You did? I yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We wow. Played. I love this. <laughs> yeah. We played the other and, side. But and, turned, and probably turned that song into a hit. It was semi. I mean, Fun, Fun, Fun was one of the greatest Beach Boy hits of all time, and I, I sure wished I could have played it back then, but we never did. Well, Rick, I, ju- I would like to tell you also, later in my career, I, I, I was very lucky. I was like the first all-night guy at Love 94. I worked at Y100 during their heyday with Bill Panner and the boys. And, um 
Yeah, what? <laughs> and uh, good night. And um, uh, I got, I moved out of the market years uh, a few years after that. But before I did, I worked six years at a station on 102.7 called K102. Mm-hmm. Sure. And I was, Rhythm and I was blues. on it. I was on at night, and uh, you know we all have our favorite station that we worked at. Mm-hmm. And for me, that was that was it. I I, uh, I was a, a small fish at big stations in my career, but I got to be a big fish at K one hundred two. And R- Rick, uh, when you and the guys took it over and turned it into magic, I mean, you took that frequency to a place that it really did deserve to go. Once it uh, finally got its signal problems, it also had signal problems. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but you really took that station to uh, to a great place, and uh, of course, I don't know where it is right now. But, Doing great. Uh, Doing real well. Well, that's what I hear, and I yeah. hear Bill Stedman's really uh, helped it out quite a bit. He's done an incredible job with the music. Uh, I, 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 I find myself listening longer and more often, and that's a, that. It's that what they call TSL, time spent listening, that you try to stretch out by playing the right song. You, 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 you're not going to hear something that is such a bad clunker record that is going to cause you to push that button. That's the goal of the program mm-hmm. director. Keep them listening, and he's done Absolutely. an incredible job. They're playing album cuts on there. Yeah. Which is well, it is kind of different well, without you there, Rick. It really is. Without you there every day, it is a little different. Well, I'm but, there uh, uh, on tape. <laughs> no, I know. I do all like the public a, service and the Magic Children's Fund. And I, I know what you're saying, but that 4 o'clock in the morning wake-up call was killing me. And the older I got, the harder it was. It was just. Uh, I always wanted to ask you, Rick. You know, every every city pretty much has their 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 one disc jockey that I would say was the most famous disc jockey of 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 the city. Mm-hmm. And obviously, for Miami, everybody knows you're the man. And you know, of course, Neil Rogers would talk. It's a different story. But when you think of Miami radio, you have to think of Rick Shaw. And I think that'll go on for years and years. Anybody that learns radio. They're going to have to know the Rick Shaw story if they come from Miami. <laughs> or else. And I just wonder, in your own private thoughts, I mean, to reach that level of radio, yeah. like a cousin Brucey, um, what is it like on a personal level? Well, let me, let me explain something. We, we talked briefly about it a little earlier. You know, the average tenure for a disc jockey in any given market is, is seven or eight years. At least it used to be. I don't know if that's still the way it is because the whole thing has changed dramatically. Shorter now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot shorter now. But uh, uh, I, when I came here in 1960, I said, God, this is paradise on earth. I'm, whatever I'm going to do with my life, I'm going to do it here. And uh, when I got to QAM, I, had, I, I just had died and gone to heaven. There just wasn't a whole lot better kind. I was on Channel 10 doing Saturday Hop. I was on QAM at night rocking and rolling with a 54 share rating. I had a column in the newspaper on the Miami Herald, advice to teenagers. I was everywhere. You couldn't get away from me. No matter where you went, we were there. You know. But it was one of those once in a lifetime things that, that fortunately, and I thank the good Lord for, for allowing it to happen or making it happen for me, a lot of people don't ever get that kind of uh, uh, opportunity. You know, it's it's not luck. Luck is 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 preparation running into opportunity, and I was fortunate enough to have, have been at the right place at the right time, and uh, here we are. All right. And you've and you've always been courteous about it. I mean, you've always, uh, you know, like never really let it go to your head. You know, for for someone that's lived uh, my life knowing you, it, it's never really gone to your head. Where in other markets, there are other the, you know people that it's gone to their head. Not for Rick Shaw. So, well, I, uh, I learned early on what a big deal it ain't. <laughs> yeah, that's for, that's for sure. Yeah, and, and if, you, if, if you kind of live it that way, that's the way it comes out, you know. Well, it's a big deal for some of us, at least. Uh, Rich yeah. What's wrong with us? This is what we want to do. What's wrong with yeah, us? Right. It's, hey. it's a disease. It's a mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> but for those of us that grew up in Miami, when we think television, we think Ralph Rennick, we think Ann Bishop, we think Bob Mayer. But when we think radio. Yeah. We 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 definitely think Rick well, Shaw. The connection yeah, between no, me and, and Bruce cousin Brucey you mentioned, for example, we've both been in our markets forever. I don't know what year Brucey started at ABC or whatever right station after it was. Here. Was it right after here? He was here. He was on INZ. Yeah, uh, and I was that that that'd be early sixties. That'd be like sixty one two somewhere in there. Because yes. uh, I remember he he came down here and. Uh, uh, spent about six months, didn't like him yeah. at all. <laughs> we didn't like him at all. <laughs> and back he went to New York, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, there like are Alex stories. Bennett, there. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Cousin Bruce, he actually talks about his Miami days in his book, and he, he remembers it exactly as you just stated it. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 I'd kick my own ass outside. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, listen, I, if I could get a quick plug in, a couple years ago, some of us that worked in radio in this market, uh, and, and you know, of like a, a little bit of a younger generation, we started a website for like a Miami Tribute radio website, just to remember. And I like to, I think for those people listening to this show today that have an interest in radio, I'd like to encourage you to check it out. It's uh, Miami Radio Tributes dot com, and of course uh, you'll see Jim Dunlap's picture as soon as you get there. And I think Rick, you're up there on the top. But mm. but uh, yeah, we'd like to expand that and keep that alive and keep adding content to it and encourage. Uh, I'm sure there's an email address on there for anybody that has any content and keep those days actually alive. Yeah. I'm sure Rick, you've seen tribute sites. I'm sure you've seen the QAM tribute site that really yes. is oh, a yeah. tribute. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 Five dot com. Yeah. Is yeah, and I, I, Steve Geisler. Yes, yes, and I, I believe for a while there was an internet station that was playing QAM jingles and air checks and songs. Yeah, and it was there like was a live mm -hmm. stream. Yes, there was. Yeah. That, that was really good. And too. the funny part of it is when you get a kid, uh, a teenager particularly, who is just getting into radio today, and you listen to some of this old stuff, you play some of the old air checks, you say, what did he say? Why did he say that? What What are you, crazy? Are you people nuts? Are you, you're living in a car for 19 days, suspended from a crane? Why would you do that? See, you that's know? what I want to do. Well, that's, you know, it, 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 <laughs> the, the answer, it worked. Right. Big Absolutely. Time. Big time. You know, this is show business. A little bit. This is not turning it, turning that volume control on and off. This is show business. Yes. And as soon as you forget exactly. that, you lose. Exactly. Well, exactly. That's why they're losing right now. Yeah. Well, we're going to lose Alan, so we can take a break. All right, listen, I'm going to no, sign okay. off. With, listen, you. Rick, a pleasure to get this. <laughs> Thank you so you. much for calling, God Alan. Bless. Bless you. You're Miami icon. We love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Our Thank you, guys. Good night. Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> but it's 2.08. No, 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 no. We could. You know well, what? I want to I wanna get it's a, a special picture. occasion. What? No, I, I, I want to take it. We'll do the 20 not, break. I don't think the FCC well, the is going to come well, down on us for now. Let me, let me try to get a point across to you. Because I'm not set up me, yet. Oh, oh. That's, so keep that's, on that's going. A, that's a good counterpoint. We'll set yeah. up the set up something because. Uh, All right, here's what we'll do. Our tell photographer you is going to leave, and I want a group picture in front of the band. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Well, you yeah, have to say something. To well, I, I just did there. That's why I'm trying to. But we're going to time thing and the thing and the this and the other thing. Okay. <clears> I just had a I thing in my. Oh yeah, I bet you. If you could start one thing, then you can load other things up while you're doing that. I most certainly. No, that's not but you true. know what? Go right ahead. Be no, my no, guest. No, no, no. You got to. As Fat Domino once said, up. be my guest tonight. Are you sure right you got there? some stuff um, loaded well, up there? Because I don't want to go to the break if you're not ready. Because we're going to need you for this picture. In spite of the fact that you hate, uh, you know, did you being in them? I'm glad you wore your hat today. Oh yeah, me ready too. To, ready to rock? I am ready to rock, baby. Well then, roll it. All right. Jeez, OnlyRockAndRoll.com presents the George Rodriguez Show. Heard live on SoFloRadio.com, 12 to 3.